Hello traders, Gary Wagner here. It is 1235 in Honolulu, 535 in New York on Friday. Happy Aloha Friday as we say on the islands. It is the 17th day of November 2023 and this is our weekend review. A very uneventful ending to a week that showed solid gains in gold, in silver, and solid declines in the dollar. This is the December contract of gold futures. We can see that it traded shy of $2,996 and change, is currently trading off by about 80 cents. We did enter a trade this week, but we entered it in the February contract. Not much difference in terms of net change on the day, down $1.10 and is currently fixed at $2,003.40. We'll cover our trade in a second. When we convert our daily into a weekly chart, we can see that gold had a real solid week, gaining about $40, opening at $1,962, and closing, as I said, above $2,000 per ounce. A major component of the rise this week in gold was dollar weakness. This is a weekly dollar chart, and you can see that it had a pretty stiff sell-off. The shift that took the dollar lower and gold higher was a change in focus by market participants to the Federal Reserve's monetary policy as they speculated that rate cuts will come sooner than had been expected. On Monday, we saw gold have gains, but since it was following a strong decline and we had seen gains followed by a strong sell-off, I wanted to see if this was a trend in the making or a one-off event. On Tuesday, we saw a very nice rise in gold, and that was the moment that I decided we wanted to position ourselves on the long side a half an hour before the opening of New York trading on Wednesday, I sent out a trade alert to buy February gold at the market. It was trading at $1,988 per ounce. Subscribers taking the call got in between $1,988 and $1,989. We put our stop at $1,970.40, a few dollars below the 100-day moving average. Yesterday, gold continued to move higher, closing above $2,000 per ounce. Approximately 10 minutes ago, gold has closed for the week, finishing above $2,000 at $2,003. Our recommendation is that you maintain your long position at $1,988, maintain your stop at $1,970. We will address and look to raise the stop next week. Silver absolutely had a stellar week. The issue with silver right now is that recently it has been defined by a narrow trading range. The trading range has been from about 25 at the high end to about 21 on the low end. This is a weekly chart, so it's been like that for a couple of months. Silver gained about 7% in trading this week, a gain of $1.57, and yet is still really defined by the fact that it is range bound. So our focus next week will be squarely on gold and the dollar. Will the dollar continue to drop and aid gold moving up? And most importantly, will we see $2,000 become support? If gold continues to move higher next week, the key area that we want to be aware of is approximately $2,020. A break above that means that it could challenge this recent high. This has been Gary Wagner, wishing you as always good trading. We will talk to you next week for the next daily update and review. Have a great weekend. Bye-bye.